Right, well, welcome back to the PE Ranger. This is the second part, which is the transmit. I've just spotted we've got some silly display on this camera. This is the same camera that was all washed out the other day. And I've just switched it on today, and it's performing normally. So whether it has a thermal fault, we will find out, won't we, as this video progresses. So what we'll do, if I can find my trim tool, now, first of all, I've had to connect it up, still using this uh, dodgy interconnect. The 7 pin DIN plug I ordered hasn't arrived yet, so I can't connect it up to the uh, 7 pin DIN external socket there yet. What I have done is to do the Adastra mic with one of these rather high quality 5 pin DIN plugs, and this is to the pinout in the information I have. So we're going to plug it in. And see what happens. In fact, we'll switch the radio on. Well, that's uh, a good start, isn't it? Well, normally we're going to transmit first, so let's see what happens. Ah, I think the wires mic drop. Uh, the wiring for the mic is wrong inside the mic. So I'll pause the video and try and sort that out. Okay, so back to record. I've sorted the mic out. Somebody wired the Adastra mic in a way it was not intended to be wired, as if it was for a conventional CB, which they've clearly had it on. Uh, the mic doesn't get switched on these, and the receiver doesn't run through the radio. So now, when I press the mic, there's a click, and we're actually going into transmit. Now, I've no idea what crystals this has got in it for the six channels so we will see um, I don't what channel we on well I want it as near the center of the band as possible six eight one one six eight that looks like channel one six nine nine seven oh Seven one, seven two, and seven three. Well, that's the highest channel I've got. Twenty-seven seven three, one two five. That should be. It's slightly off frequency. It's a bit high. What we got? I'm on transmit, and we have got. I'm on that range. Um, we've got ninety milliwatts coming out of it. So it's a bit low. So seven three. Let's just see if I can. So what the transmit uh, arrangement will be, and I've got the circuit in front of me, is that we're going to go through L one, which is that one, and then we're going to do L two stroke three, four stroke five, six stroke seven, and then just deal with the low pass filter there. Oh, I think there's a couple of trimmers there as well, aren't there? Right, so we'll start with that one. Ah, this is frequency. So we've now got it on, on frequency. So there you go, that is frequency. 27.73125. So it was just set a little bit high. So we'll now we'll start with the transmit. That was peak, 90 milliwatts. Still 90 milliwatts. About 95 milliwatts. Swap to the yellow tool. Ninety milliwatts. Ninety milliwatts. Well, that's disappointing. Now these have been glued, but they are adjustable. Ah, hundred and ten milliwatts.
We'll just pause the video and I'll just get that stick to move. Okay, so we've just got 110 milliwatts. I've got a suspicious feeling that the relay's uh, intermittent. So I'll prove that later on off video. So we'll just see if we can uh, do the deviation. Oh, that's a bit high. It's VR3 for deviation. VR3 is the one just here. And a quick whistle check just to make sure it's right. Oh, it's a bit high, that. There we go. Wallo. Two and a half maximum. So it's averaging 2.2 and it's peaking at 2.5, which is where it should be. So so we only got um, 110 milliwatts at the moment, and I suspect the relay uh, is a bit duff. I've had the RF probe on the filter output, and there's plenty there, um, but there's nothing like as much on the uh, on the cable to the uh, aerial socket. If I zoom out, that is just there. So probing it there, there's less than when I probe it down there which is where the filter is so I'll have a look at that and uh, we'll restart the video okay and back to this what I have noticed is on the filter the first of these coils here the plastic core in which the slug is is moving around and that's why we've only got 110 milliwatts as well as the relay being duff so we've now got about 300 milliwatts with some rather very careful tuning. I've ordered a relay, it's a Fujitsu device and it's a 221DO12, the relay there. And it's just cost me an arm and a leg. I've ordered two and it cost, with the postage from the United States, about £31 for the two. So, not a cheap uh, thing, but I thought I'd rather put the Fujitsu original in than start putting something else in and having to solder wires to it. And then you've got inherent losses there as well. So, I'm just going to go through it and go through it and go through it. But I think that is as far as we're going to get with this at 300 milliwatts at this stage. What I didn't mention is these aren't 13.8 volts. Your power input mustn't exceed 12.5. So it's 11.8 to 12.5. So don't plug them into a cigarette lighter of a car with the engine running. Um, I've just warned you about that one. Right, so thank you for watching. And that is the transmitter tuned up on the PE Ranger from 1981.